causes of my car stays cold in heat mode, but there's no issue with the air conditioning. When your vehicle's air conditioning works fine, but it stays cold when you switch to heat mode, the issue typically lies within the heating system. Several components work together to ensure that your car's heating system provides warmth, and any malfunction or blockage within these parts can prevent the system from functioning correctly. Below are detailed explanations of possible causes for this issue. 1. Faulty Thermostat The thermostat plays a crucial role in regulating the engine's temperature by controlling the flow of coolant to the engine and heating system. When you switch to heat mode, the engine needs to warm up to a certain temperature to produce hot air. If the thermostat is stuck in an open position, the engine may not reach the optimal operating temperature, and the heater will blow cold air as a result. In this scenario, the coolant is continuously circulated through the radiator, keeping the engine and heater core too cool to produce warm air. A malfunctioning thermostat should be replaced promptly to restore the heating system and ensure the engine operates efficiently. 2. Low Coolant Level Coolant antifreeze is essential for both the cooling and heating systems of your vehicle. The heater core, which is a small radiator located in the dashboard, relies on hot coolant from the engine to generate heat for the cabin. If the coolant level is low, there might not be enough hot coolant flowing through the heater core, causing the system to blow cold air even in heat mode. Low coolant levels could be due to a leak in the radiator, hoses, or other components. It's important to regularly check the coolant level in your vehicle and top it up as needed. Additionally, a thorough inspection should be conducted to find and repair any leaks that might be causing the coolant loss. 3. Clogged Heater Core The heater core is responsible for transferring heat from the engine's coolant to the air that enters the cabin through the vents. Over time, debris, rust, and sludge can accumulate inside the heater core, reducing the flow of hot coolant and impeding its ability to heat the air effectively. If the heater core is clogged, you may experience cold air even when the system is set to heat. Flushing the heater core is a common solution to this problem, which involves removing the accumulated debris and allowing the coolant to flow freely. In severe cases, the heater core may need to be replaced if it is too damaged or corroded. 4. Blend Door Actuator Malfunction The blend door actuator controls the movement of the blend door, which directs air either through the heater core, for hot air, or bypasses it, for cold air. If the blend door or its actuator is faulty, the door might get stuck in a position that prevents air from passing through the heater core, even when you switch to heat mode. This results in cold air being blown into the cabin, regardless of the heat setting. The blend door actuator is an electrical component that can wear out or break over time, requiring replacement to restore the functionality of the heating system. 5. Air trapped in the cooling system. Air pockets or trapped air in the cooling system can also cause heating issues. When air gets trapped inside the cooling system, it can block the flow of coolant to the heater core, preventing the system from generating hot air. This problem can occur after a coolant change or if there's a leak in the system that allows air to enter. Bleeding the cooling system is the solution to removing trapped air, ensuring that the coolant flows properly and reaches the heater core. Once the air is purged from the system, the heater should be able to provide warm air as expected. When your vehicle's AC works but the heat doesn't, it's usually a sign of a problem within the heating system, such as a faulty thermostat, low coolant levels, a clogged heater core, or a malfunctioning blend door actuator. Additionally, trapped air in the cooling system can also affect heating performance. It's essential to address these issues promptly, as they not only impact cabin comfort but can also indicate larger problems within the engine's cooling system. A thorough inspection by a professional mechanic is often required to diagnose and fix the exact cause of the problem.